This is the Daily Word for Saturday, May 30th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And the Lord be with you. Well, today we uh, get to the 30th day of the month of May. Our Lady has been secretly helping us all the way through. Of course, the Holy Spirit has been working, especially in these days. In the Novena to the Holy Spirit, today is the last day of that Novena. And Pentecost begins with the Vigil tonight and the Mass tomorrow. In our diocese, at least here in Montgomery County, we won't be able to be all gathered together for a Pentecost Mass with each other seven times, as we usually do, and maybe even eighth time with the Cameroon uh, Catholic community. But we'll do it here. Uh, leading in, the Father Naba will be the celebrant on the Pentecost Sunday Mass. So you can tune in and watch that later this weekend. Our collect, ending uh, this whole journey up to Pentecost, is this. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them, but in the way that we live our lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Well, there's uh, the wrap-up of the whole Easter journey of Acts of the Apostles and John. Uh, so we're at the end of the Acts of the Apostles, Acts 28. We're at the end of John, John 21, the last few verses. And the psalm we're given today is Psalm 11. I'd like to read that and do the gospel acclamation as our reading uh, reflection today. Psalm 11. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his searching glance is on mankind. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord searches the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. For the Lord is just, he loves just deeds. The upright shall see his face. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I will send to you the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia, alleluia. And that's our word, okay? So gazing on the face of the Lord will be one. And number two would be the spirit of truth message. So gazing on the Lord is your right and privilege as a, as a child of God to look up to your God as child and be in wonder. And your right also is to the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit. Psalm 11 says that the just will gaze on your face. So this is what we're hoping for, that we who uh, believe in God without seeing him with our physical sight will one day see him in his holy temple, at his throne. But right now the Lord is gazing on us and he's looking to see whether we're looking up to him or not. You know, there's a blessing of Moses that prays for the, the light of God to shine upon the, the face of God's servant. May God's light shine upon you and bless you and remain on you. Well, God is looking to bring that light down to people. And that light really is his Holy Spirit. It says in Psalm 11, God's eyes behold, God's searching glance is on humankind. What's he glancing for? Well, he's first looking on us with love. He's looking on us as is chosen, he's looking at, at what steps can I help this person get closer to me, walking down the path of discipleship in my son. The Lord searches the just um, and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. So the Lord sees things as they really are, and he wants to, uh, to bless his people. It says the Lord is just, so the Lord is a just God. So in the end, everything of justice will be on God's side and anyone on God's side will be in a just, good place forever and ever. This is what we want. And if we are in that place, we're going to delight in it. Our, our face is going to behold the Lord and just be 
so exultant of what God has offered to us. Well, we can enter into that uh, looking for God as he looks down on us to look and and see him face to face, even though we can't see him. It, it's sort of like looking through one of those two-way mirrors where only one side can see through. And so God can see through, but we look and and God wants us to first learn how to see him with our hearts. And so we just kind of look and maybe it's easier to close our eyes sometimes when we pray to God. And he can say, do you, do you sense me? Do you see me? And it says the Lord loves just deeds. So I think that when we're living our faith out, living in justice and peace and righteousness, especially living in, in a true love, uh, an unconditional love, a boundless love like Christ, well, he just loves seeing that because we were made for that. The upright shall see his face. So God's going to help us to uh, to love right into into glory, and He's gonna He's gonna delight in looking at us. So here we are coming close in on Pentecost, and we have the Spirit of Truth. So God is still trying to make things all true in us. There's so many areas still that are struggling in us, but God keeps on speaking to it, saying, uh, "Give me permission to work in that area of your life." And it may be hard, but let me gaze on it. Let me look upon you with my light. Let me penetrate the shades, the shadows, the grays, or the dark, and and penetrate that. And it, it's almost like he's an icebreaker. He's trying to break up the things that are holding us bound. So as we enter into Pentecost, just pray for that Holy Spirit uh, to be the power from on high, you know, the being clothed from on high, Acts 1, 8. And remember the, the song, Come Holy Ghost, Creator blessed. And in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. To fill the hearts which thou hast made. Holy Spirit, come upon our people here in this parish and all those who are watching this, Lord, we pray for the glorious freedom of being a son and daughter of the Most High. We pray for that to come into our lives, our being. We may, may not be totally ready for Pentecost, but Pentecost is ready for us. O oh, Holy Spirit, work your work in us and keep us going in the fire of your love forever and ever. Amen.